Today, Acer held a global press conference in central London to show off their latest products, including netbooks, notebooks, and a slew of new smartphones. But the main attraction is this, Acer's first Android phone, called the Acer Liquid. It's also the first Android phone that has a wide WVGA screen, and it's powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon processor. The Acer Liquid is also the first to run on the latest release of Android 1.6 OS. It has an autofocus 5 megapixel camera on the back, and it has much fewer buttons than your average Android handset. The phone comes with all the usual suspects that you can expect with a Google phone, such as YouTube, Google Maps, and Gmail. It also comes in three colors, red, white, and black. Can you tell us why you've embarked on Android? Yeah, sure. We're in the business of uh, launching in smartphones, and uh, we want to support the different open platforms. So Microsoft is an open platform, an operating system. And Android, uh, made by Google, is also uh, uh, an, op an open uh, platform that is gaining some traction into the marketplace. So to answer the needs of our users, we offer both. In 2010, we'll focus on the, those two platforms, Android and uh, Windows. The Taiwanese PC vendor entered the smartphone market just earlier this year. Its advantage of being a newbie is that its sales can only go in one direction. Well, the benefit of being new is that you know you only have upside. Basically, you start from nowhere, from nothing, so it's only upside. So we're just happy to continue uh, to break into the marketplace and gain a customer one at a time. Our strongest markets are the Western European markets, you know, the usual suspects, the big European countries, Russia. Uh, and then in Asia Pacific, uh, it's uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, not in any particular order, of course, but Taiwan, Hong Kong. Uh, Thailand, uh, Singapore, and uh, to some extent uh, now we're breaking into uh, China. So how does Acer plan on competing in the smartphone market? Out of a market this big, there's room for, for everyone. So we intend to compete with, uh, with many other companies. But in a market like this that is undergoing sort of a paradigm shift, where all of a sudden handheld devices are no longer phone uh, or voice-based, but are primarily uh, thought of as devices that can also and foremost, first and foremost, access the internet, then it creates a brand new set of opportunities. And uh, we'll see, you know, two or three years from now, uh, we certainly hope to be uh, in, 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 in a top group. Thank you. Slayla Mackey reporting in London.